Hello everyone, welcome to the Comic Gamer Movie Show. My name's Deshaun and today I'm here to give you my spoiler free review of Suicide Squad. Woo! This movie was so anticipated. Could this be the movie that turns around the whole ship of DC? Could this be the movie that finally puts all this bad stuff to rest? Could this be the movie that saves DC? Tells everyone DC is here to stay. We had some laps in the past, but we're here. And I can honestly tell you this is not the movie. Now, I'm going to start off by saying this. Um... Originally, I gave. Originally, I said this movie was average. Like originally, I said this movie was somewhere in line with um, X Men Apocalypse, and somewhere in line with you know maybe the original Thor. Well, not even that. A little less, but somewhere below the original Thor, and somewhere above X Men Last Stand, and somewhere above X Men The Wolverine. It's somewhere in that. It's somewhere above all that it's it's equal with apocalypse above all that but now that i've had a day to think about it i saw it yesterday and at first i was going to review it immediately and i was probably immediately and now that i had but i didn't i said you know what i'm going to give myself time to digest this and give myself time to think about it think about the movie a little bit more because i gotta watch my words you know because you know there's so many fanboys out there who are losing their shit over this movie now i will start well, I, now i will say this for sure i don't think the movie is as bad as 27 percent or Rotten tomato which it is it's like a 26 percent now i don't think it's that bad um i don't think it's that much greater than that i don't think it's like a fucking 78 percent or 80 percent or anything like that it's more i don't even think it's fresh i think it's more like a 45 percent i think it's exact maybe a little bit about like a 40%, 42%, a little bit better than, um, um, a lot better than Man, Batman vs. Superman, a lot better than maybe Man of Steel 2, but, man, my mercy, this, I'm not gonna give away any spoilers, but this movie is a mess, like, it is choppy as hell, and like, you know, maybe it's because I've been looking at so many different reviews for movies and whatnot, and, and, through my findings of watching these YouTube channels and movie reviews and movie this and movie that, I've kind of delved into the movie world. So now, like, the behind the scenes of the movie world, I kind of look at that shit a lot more now. So maybe I notice things that maybe I have not noticed before in the past. But the editing on this movie was awful. Like, it was just so choppy in the beginning. Like, I literally spent the half, I literally spent the first half of the movie trying to figure out what the fuck was going on. Like, I was just like, it's chopping here, and then it chops there, and then it's this, there's this, chop, chop, chop. And then it was just blasting music left and right, like, psychopaths. Like, I, like, literally, someone told me that this movie, like, the first part of this movie feels like a music video. Like, it really does. It feels like a music video. And some of the music, some of the music worked. I think the Deadpool's, I mean, Deadpool, Deadshot stuff music worked. But then some of the other music, you're just like, what, why are you playing this? Some of this stuff was just out of the blue and that's one of the things i'll say about this movie it is a it feels rushed a lot of the things in the movie feel rushed some of the like beats in the movie feel rushed first of all i'm going to start off by saying the the i only have really three positives or four okay four positives about this movie i'm going to start off will smith is dead shot was good i really enjoyed will smith is dead shot i could even i'm i can even see him in a batman movie and really enjoy him in that seeing him go full bad guy he didn't do enough um, cool things with the guns. I mean, he had, he had a bunch of headshots, but that's a given. You can see that in any movie. But he had one cool shot, and that was it, which was a little bit disappointing. I also liked the stuff with him and his daughter. I liked it, but they didn't start to become a crutch when it was just like they just kept burning. Like, I know, you know, but I just wasn't feeling it. Like, everything just felt like it was thrown in your face. Like, nothing was organically you know, seamed in. Like, there's relationships in this movie that, outside of Harley Quinn and the Joker, which you can kind of see it and you kind of understand it because prior to it that you're just like, I'm not buying it. Actually, most of them, I'm just like, I'm not buying it. But Will Smith was definitely cool as Deadshot. He had some funny lines. He had some cool stuff that he did, especially the training in the beginning when he was shooting the targets. That was pretty cool, too. Um, Killer Croc was just there. I was He was a disappointment. He didn't do anything. Um, he barely spoke. He really was just there to be there. Cap Captain Boomerang, same thing, was just there to be there. Said a couple funny lines, and just, that was it. He didn't even have any cool boomerangs. He, didn't, he only threw, like, two boomerangs in the whole movie. And his name's Captain Boomerang, and he doesn't even do anything really cool with the boomerangs. Um, let's see. Katana was, like, Katana was kind of just slapped in there. Like, I don't even know why she was even in the movie. Like, they just kind of slapped on her backstory. Oh, she's this. Boom. Slapped on her backstory. A lot of this shit just feels like someone just slapped it on in the editing bay and just said, oh, that should go there. Because Katana's whole shit felt like that. And there's an emotional scene in the movie where you're supposed to feel sad for him. I'm just like, but dude, like, what the fuck? Y'all can't just keep, then now it's here, now it's there. 
bring it up. Don't bring it up. Like, like I'm just like, God have mercy. I'm like, I was just dead. like, oh, uh, movie. But another positive, Amanda Waller. I liked Amanda Waller. I, I didn't love her. I wasn't like fucking losing my like some people are like she's a bad bitch. She's losing her mind. But personally, I never liked Amanda Waller to begin with. So maybe that's what played into it. Because I've always found I never found a male. I always found Amanda Waller more of a nuisance than an actual threat. I've always found her more of the more of like God. She's just a pain in the ass to all these supervillains and superheroes. But she's only just a pain in the ass. Like that's all I've ever known her as. Like she's like the reverse Nick Fury, but Nick Fury's a good guy, so it's cool. But with her, she's just a pain in the ass. Like this, in, in this movie, to like in this movie, to a degree, she came up like a badass. But to another degree, also like the movie. I mean, also like the comics, and also like the um, animated series. To me, she just came off like a pain in the ass. She just came up like came off like a person who was just there to be a pain in the ass. That's it. But I still liked her. I still enjoyed her on screen, and I enjoyed a lot of stuff with the suicide. And I enjoyed a lot of stuff with her, especially the fact that she, you still don't really know her backstory. And there's a lot of things to be explored with that character. Harley Quinn was no. I know a lot of people don't want about that. Harley Quinn was a conflicting character for me in this movie because I liked her. I loved her at parts. I straight up loved Harley Quinn at parts. But then there's certain parts where I'm just like, why is she here? Like I'm not gonna lie. It did dawn on me. By the time the movie started waning down, dawned on me. Why is she here on the squad? Like, what does she contribute? She's a girl running around with a bat and a revolver. I'm like, that's not exactly the same as a guy who can light things on, who can turn into a, who can light things on fire, a man who never misses, and a man who, who's a crocodile who can toss shit like thousand feet, and tactical guys. Like, she's just nuts. Like, that's it, though. But, like, I'm just like, why is she part of this team, though? Like, it doesn't make any sense, a little bit. Like, in the comics and stuff, it kind of, you kind of understood why she was a part of the team. Because of, she kind of understood why she was a part of the team. Because she could do, because in the comics, you know, she could do extraordinary things. And she was, like, super strong and all this other shit. So that makes sense. But in the movie, she's just nuts. She's just nuts and has a bat that can fight. Like, I was just like, you could have got any tactical guy to do some of this stuff. But, I digress. I still enjoyed the character a lot. And were certain scenes that made me wonder, wow, I'm surprised I got to get this under the PG, which made me go, man, I wonder what the hell she did, because this was supposed to be a rated R movie, I'm like, I wonder what she did in the rated R version of this movie, like, what the fuck? Um, um, I like, I actually did like Rick Flag a little bit, I like, ah, like, I didn't love him or anything, but I liked him, like, if they wasn't trying to shove in a love interest for him, that made no fucking sense, that they just went, it's, it's a love interest, and you're just like... They're in love, okay? You just said it, but you didn't show it happening. I mean, hell, at least for um Hulk and um and Black Widow, at least you can look back at the other movies and go, I see hints of that. And throughout the whole movie, you see them flirting and talking and like doing these things. In this movie, they were just like, we're in love. I'm not gonna tell you who, but because it's a spoiler, but it was just like, we're in love. Okay, cool. Um, all right. <laughs> Like, a lot of things happen like that in this movie. There is a scene, I swear to you not, that I was nodding off to. And I'm not, it's not a spoiler because it's the bar scene. I was nodding off. Because I was just like, really? This is... Because like, they were trying to do the whole gathering of troops. Like, you know, that whole scene where... But the reasoning that they wanted to do that was kind of stupid anyway. I'm like, what, what? I'm like, okay, you have relations with the chick. I mean, we're still the world's still at risk here. It's like, shit, we you guys just not going to save the world? And I must admit, throughout this entire movie, when the, when the big laser and all this other stuff starts going off, and then, and the villain starts doing whatever the fuck she's doing, which I don't even fucking clearly know what she was doing, I was wondering to myself, where the hell is the Flash? Where the hell is Batman? Where's Aquaman? No Superman's dead. Where's Aquaman? Where's Batman? Where's Wonder Woman? Because they... Because... No spoilers, but you know Batman's in this movie. He pops up throughout this movie in the origins. So I'm like, Batman's around! Where the fuck is he? You, you don't notice that big ass light in the sky and shit being blown up, but I died for rats. The Joker in this movie was lame as fuck to me. I, I mean, I, I hate to say that, because so many people are raving about him. It's the next Heath Ledger, he's so good. I'm like, not really. He was just a weirdo. Like, and like, I know what people are going to say. Joker is a weirdo. That's a part of him. He's a weirdo. But no, this guy was just some mobster who was a weirdo. Like, that's what he came off as. Like, he was just a weird motherfucker. Like, he just did things that were just weird. That was it. Like, but he wasn't terrifying. He wasn't, oh, man, what are we going to do? Like, the Joker's terrifying. He's, he keeps you on the edge. He keeps you on your toes. You never know what he's going to do. You never know why he's doing it. But this Joker was just a lover boy. First of all, he's just a lover boy, which is a little bitch, which 
which I don't, which, which, let's be, let's be honest, there hasn't been a real comic, or even an anime series where he actually loved Harley, he was just like, I like her, she's okay, she's here, even in the Arkham games, he's like, yeah, she's here, I like her, she's cool, she's just my right hand, that's it, she's just my right hand, well, she's in love with me, but I'm not in love with her, because the Joker can't feel that kind of shit, because that compromises what the Joker's about, Joker has to be able to kill anyone on a dime, not be fucking lover boy, but on top of that shit, like, the whole mobs, like, I had no problem with the tattoos and grills and none of that shit. I had no problem with that from the beginning. I was like, oh, cool, like, putting a re, um, new thing on the Joker. But none of, but, like, it was just there to be there, like, in, just like him. He was just in this movie to be in this movie. He did nothing to serve the plot. He did nothing in this movie. He was just there. And he was just a weirdo. I just remember going, this guy, um, he, he just made me uncomfortable. But not uncomfortable in the, oh, my God, there's a guy pointing a gun at me. Man, maybe what should I do with it? Uncomfortable in a awkward moment kind of way. Uncomfortable in a an old lady bra fell off right in front of you kind of way. Like, oh, whoa, whoa, jeez. That's how the Joker made me feel in this movie. I was just like, every time he was on screen, I was just uncomfortable. Because he, he was just, he was just so, ugh, man. And this, believe it or not, he went too far over the top. I, I'm sorry to tell you. I just didn't like his rendition of the Joker. So far, they done fucked up Lex Luthor and the Joker. <laughs> DC, congratulations. So far, you done found out the way to fuck up Lex and the Joker. But anyways, let me see, any more positives? I don't got any other positives. There's one cool flaming scene in the end, but that's a spoiler. I don't have any more positives. That's it. Everything in this, mo this movie is just muddled. It's just a mess. There's scenes that straight up bored me. There's scenes that straight up didn't make any sense. The villain is awful. Whatever the fuck her... I'm, I'm just gonna be a minus first brother is like a badass is a not a badass in a good way but a bad special effect like he's just all CGI and shit I'm like what the fuck is this like the movie does at some point just become this weird movie and plus I never quite bought into the team being a team all of a sudden I'm like you guys are criminals you've only known each other for a day you're criminals you are barely really interacting other than shooting that shit and you guys are a family like I'm like come on man you guys have one freaking heart to heart in a bar and it's like we're a family I'm like Dude, you guys are criminals. You guys are some of the worst on the planet. I didn't buy anyone's motivations other than maybe Viola Day, uh, uh, other than Amanda Waller's and um, Dead Shots. Everyone else's was just like, okay, why are you fucking here? Like, oh my gosh. I was originally going to give this movie a 5.5, .5, but I can honestly say I'm taking that damn point off and just giving it a 5. This movie is painfully average it is dreadfully average there are no awesome action beats in this entire movie except maybe a glimmer in the end there is li this movie literally for a movie that has so much color and so much this and so much that it's just so much nah like that's all i can think about after i saw this movie was just blah like literally i'm watching it with the audience and like no one like at the end of civil war people cheer even if being a bad man versus superman believe it or not some people clap won't everyone some people clap no, everyone was just like, okay, and walked out. Like, I'm like, that's how this movie made me feel. I was just like, well, that was there. It was to the point where I was fiddling with my popcorn watching this movie. My friend I was watching it with. We watch movies all the, well, when we watch movies together, he was just looking at his phone at the time. Like, literally, I was like, there was a point where I was thinking to myself, is the movie going to end yet or what? Like, I, and that's not a good thing. It really is. If this movie is a painfully average movie. It's a five. If I think about it even more, if I see it again, I might give it a lower score. It's the best movie in the... But it, it's not even the best movie. I think I like Man of Steel more than this movie. I think I might have liked... No, I might have liked Batman vs. Man a little bit better than this movie. Just a little fucking bit. Just a fucking tiny bit. It's a tiny bit better than this movie. But, man. Damn it, DC. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. You just... Mm. Oh, okay. Comment below. Have you seen the movie? Did you like it? Did you not like it? Did you see my issues? Did do you have your own issues? Please like and subscribe. And um, we will be doing the spoiler review soon. Probably tomorrow. We're probably gonna be putting up a couple videos tomorrow. But please like and subscribe, and we will see. And I will see you in the next one.